Hey guys, what's happening? Welcome back to FTD Speaks. This is Leroy Kenton here. And now I came across this video. What actually happened to Khabib's face? This showed up in my recommendations and I, hopefully nothing bad happened. Or did he have plastic surgery? I don't know. A whole lot of questions are going through my mind. So that's so I'm like, okay, let me react this video with you guys because I know Khabib, he's somebody that like, he he's very inspiring. He's a very inspiring person. So hopefully nothing bad happened, but either way, let's take a look at this video and then I'm going to share my thoughts and comments at the end. Look at his face. What? above. I can't see the date above. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. I hope you are well. First of all brothers and sisters, I would like to mention that I'm not recording this audio with my studio microphone because currently I'm on travel. So the audio quality may not sound good as it should be. I hope you understand. Thank you so much. Many of you guys don't know very well that Habib Namegamedov faced some truly remarkable challenges before his last fight with Justin Gagey at UFC 254. Habib's coach ahead of the fight, Javier Mendes, has already shared with the world the numerous pre-fight obstacles that Habib had to overcome. Well, in Habib's latest interview with ACA fighter, Habib shared for the first time in detail images of his swelled up face caused by mumps in the lead up to his last title defense. Oh. It's not easy to believe, but indeed it is true. Habib, while sharing these pictures in the interview, said, mm -hmm. У меня была свинка, и все говорили, что он маску одел на бороду, помнишь, да? Ага. У него так лицо было опухшее. Да. Это было 9 число утра. И я проснулся, я заболел. 9 -го. 10 -го мы вылетаем, это сентябрь, 24 октября надо драться. 10 мы вылетаем, я, я еще сильнее там в самолете заболел, прилетел, температура. Потом болел, болел хуже, хуже, потом попал э, в больницу, там уже был в реанимации 5 дней. Очень плохо. Отекло, это смотри, 11 сентября, это я туда прилетел. Нет, это еще ерунда. Это ну, уже, я, уже, я уже болел. Это вот у меня, короче, есть вот такое лицо. О -о -о -о. So up. I see now. Это oh. потом там наверху же есть. Это, это, да, то есть. Короче, в общем, data, хотели сняться. Хотели снять. С этого противостояли. Mm. Да, и болел, и это, и ну, думали сняться, но все-таки решили подраться, короче. Masha Allah, unbelievable. This illness subsequently caused Habib to delay the start of his training camp until September 24, which was around 15 days after he was due to begin his preparations. Habib understandably admitted that he wanted to cancel the fight at the time. However, he and his team eventually decided to go ahead with the original date. Eventually, despite of all the challenges, Habib looked spectacular on fight night. The eagle dominated Geji, winning by second round submission and mm. then shocking the MMA world by announcing his retirement in the octagon post fight. Habib certainly showed incredible mental strength as he improved his record to 29-0. In addition, later on in the interview, Habib explained the issue with his broken thumb, which he broke on 7th October. Habib said, и 24 числа я начал тренироваться. Это считаю, что где-то 15 дней вообще без тренировок. И не просто там отдых, да, я сильно болел. И потом мы начали тренироваться. Это было 24, где-то 7 числа я потом сломал палец. Сломал палец 7 октября. Это за сколько там? И, и 7 октября, а палец на ноге, на руке? На ноге, на, на ноге. На, да. У меня еще видео есть, но это выйдет в, моей докум, в моем документальном фильме. Это есть такое эксклюзивное видео, я не хочу ее закидывать. У меня, я сейчас работаю над моим документальным фильмом. Мы туда ее закинем. Есть видео, все дела нашего спарринга. Вот с Гаджи мы спарринг делаем. Маша Аллах, но эти невероятные трудности не привели Хабиб к успешному лайтвей титул дефенс. Братья и сестры, это самый лучший пример того, что You should never give up in life, no matter what happens. Always have hope. 
Hope is something to look forward to with desire and reasonable confidence. It is a quality that enables us to keep going in the direst of circumstances. We keep moving forward with optimism because hope allows us to envisage a better future or a good outcome. Actually, God has supplied us with unending supply of hope. And when we begin to feel the pangs of hopelessness, we need to remember that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us every reason to rely on Him. We should expect things to turn out for the best and we can look forward to tomorrow with confidence. Allah has promised us that following His guidance will lead to the best outcome. Brothers and sisters, tawakkul is basically the trust and reliance on Allah that is accepting the results that He decides regardless of how they may turn out to be. We may face challenges and difficult situations in our life, but we have to face them strongly while believing in Allah Almighty. That is the concept of tawakkul. Tawakkul is our belief and the attitude that we have about putting trust in Allah to take care of all affairs of our life. Brothers and sisters, you should never give up. Just like our brother Habib never gave up no matter how many difficult challenges he faced. You don't want to be known as someone that is weak and gives up. Go out there and prove yourself to the world and to yourself. You can and will achieve what you set out to do. The only time you fail is when you give up. So that's it for today brothers and sisters. What are your thoughts about this video? Let us know in the comment section down below. So this video was very inspiring. Honestly, it's a great reminder to never, never, ever give up. Now, I remember this time uh, Khabib Namagamadov, he beat Justin Gagey and he announced his retirement. And I even made a video about uh, Khabib Namagamadov on my other channel, FTD Facts, where we talk about his life and all the things that he's went through in his career and everything, but I didn't know that he was dealing with the mumps. You could see his whole face was swollen up and everything. And then on top of that, he had a broken thumb. It's literally like <laughs> test after test after test. And on top of that, probably the saddest thing was that his father had passed away. So, you know, dealing with that, and he also retired to honor the wishes of his parents. So you can look at it too, like Khabib had every reason to cancel the fight or at least delay the fight, you know, or just say, you know what, I don't want to do it anymore. Just give up, whatever. And even with that, you know, the passing of his father, you know, dealing with the mumps, it's probably so uncomfortable having a swollen face, broken thumb, starting training late. You know, he still went ahead and he won with a 29 and 0 perfect record, undefeated professional record in MMA. That's amazing. And that's what I said at the beginning of this video that this guy is really inspiring to me. And he's inspiring to millions of other people out there that have followed his career or at least know of what he has achieved and some of his story of what he's gone through in his life. Also, it is easier said than done saying, okay, don't give up, always have hope. These are nice things that we say all the time, but very few people like Khabib apply that to a goal that we're looking to achieve or something that we're trying to accomplish, you know? Just have hope, have hope, yes, yes, yes. But I think, you know, you got to ask yourself, what are those things in life that you know that you said you wanted to do? You know you have the desire to go and do it. Or you believe that God is leading you to do something. But yet you doubt. You put it off. You delay it. You give up halfway through. Oh, maybe this is not God's will for me. Oh, maybe this, you know, it's too hard, too much work. Oh, oh no, no, no. It should be easy. Nah, -uh. didn't say it's going to be easy. It's just you only fail when you give up have hope you can do it keep that in mind it didn't say it's going to be easy so you know i just got to give a lot of respects to to khabib for being somebody who has inspired so many people has inspired me as well to just keep on going regardless of what happens even if it feels like it's time to quit and yes yeah, sometimes it definitely is time to quit like if he had a disease or something that he was in the hospital on a respiratory device and in a coma or something of course you have to quit but when you still have a will and a desire and where it's able to happen you can 
still push forward. And even if he was in the hospital, let's say, you know, suffering from a disease that he's like trapped on a bed and he can't move. I've seen even people in that situation still say, no, I'm going to keep on going. And they do. So the fact that we can do that, we can do a lot more than we think that we're capable of. And we see that as an example in other people. Honestly, it, it, it's inspiring and it makes me look at myself like, wow, what am I doing? You know, how much more could I be doing? So guys, that's where I'm gonna end this video. Really hope you liked it. If you made it this far, don't forget to leave a like. Also subscribe if this is your first time here. So that way you'll be notified every time we post new videos here on FTD Speaks. Definitely wanna hear your thoughts and comments also about the video, about anything that I shared down below in the comment section. Okay guys, that's it for me in this one. Awesome hanging out with you as usual and I'll see you in the next one. Later.